Net op die markt. With the situation in Syria, this present uh, Pope has had us all organize a prayer vigil once in the Vatican for peace in Syria. He's spoken several times and exhorted humanity to recognize how with war you do never fashion justice. You cannot seek to bring justice and experience of justice to anybody through the instruments of war because it creates more hostility and it makes people more you know, hostile towards one another, if not filled with even the spirit of vengeance. So for the Catholic Church, the commitment to peace is basic. I mean, there's no way a Catholic Church with Jesus as its you know, savior and leader, whose birth you know, was accompanied by a message of peace, peace to people of goodwill on this earth. How, how, how the Catholic Church can fail to appreciate you know, peace in, in the different situations in the world. So commitment to peace is uh, in Syria. It's been prayed for, it's been supported uh, through the local hierarchy whenever it is possible, and also through statements which are made by the Holy Father, and through small missions to, the, to Syria by, like the Pontifical Council of Kor Unum, to bring help to the you know, refugees and, and, and all of them, to exhort them for peace. I tell you when we decided to flee. We were sitting at home and heard many explosions and machine guns shooting next to us. When we finally went out, we saw about 200 armed terrorists next to our house with all of these machine guns. We were really frightened. Then the terrorists remained there and became our neighbors. We were so afraid, all people were afraid, and the children too. We are so afraid of their weapons that we transferred to another village. Our village was called Terman, and the village we went to was Talbasia. All of us women and children stayed there for four months, far from our original village and homes. The terrorists stayed in our village while we were obliged to stay away. We could not re-enter our house. We left it as it was. We were especially afraid of violence against us women. That's why we were forced to flee. <laughs> 